What's up, my people? This is Showbiz the Adult. All right, man, look. All right, man, look. Tyson Fury versus who? Who? Again. <laughs> Again. Coffee. <laughs> That's what I'm going to name this video. Tyson Fury versus who? Before I drink my coffee, black two sugars. Hard Knock Nights Live at the Evo. Fantastic. Amazing. Everybody who showed up, showed support and love. And the fighters. Frank Alarza, thanks to you. Patrice Vonney, thanks to you. Throwing on the mitts, working with the fans. The fans being willing to throw punches with professional fighters. I mean, that was Extremely fantastic, great support, and their interest in the game. They were definitely impressed. And all of you, oh, wait a second, wait a second. My show business partners traveling to Vegas to say what's up to show biz the adult. Thank you to you and me going on live and everybody showing support and asking the right questions on my live stream. Thanks to you. There's going to be more updates coming for Hard Knock Nights Live more frequently on this channel. Now, let's talk Tyson Fury versus who? Oh, wait, before I do that, let's do a little bit of catching up. Pascal versus Marcus Brown and Adam Kaunaki versus Chris Ariola. Two fantastic fights that was very, very entertaining. Now, let's talk Pascal upsetting Brown. Very, very entertaining. Great fight, clash of styles, which reminds me of a fight I've seen before. The late and great Vernon Forrest versus Mayorga, where, where you have a more technically sound fighter using his jab, doing all the right things, but Mayorga being a tough guy with his wild style, giving Vernon Forrest problems. That's exactly what happened with Pascal. With Pascal dropping Brown numerous times. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm keeping that. I, <laughs> I said Pascal dropping Brown. It reminded <laughs> It's not like I'm saying Pascal was taking the dump, okay? No, Pascal knocking Brown down numerous times. And if it wasn't for that clash of heads, where did you guys see the slow motion where the skin flopped down and the blood was split? Look, it looked like I was uh, a scene from 300, okay? I thought I was watching 300. Needless to say, if it wasn't for that clash of heads, I think Pascal would have beaten Brown anyway. I think Pascal had the type of style that was giving Brown problems. And I wouldn't be shocked if Pascal wouldn't have knocked him down again. Now let's talk Adam Kaunaki, who I would like to call Margarine Bean. And the reason why I call him Margarine Bean is because he reminds me of Butterbean, just more skillful, more endurance. Now, both of those guys, winners to me, Chris Ariola showing that he has more in the tank. Adam Kaunaki beating this guy in a slugfest. But what really jumped out with Adam Kaunaki is the lack of head movement in you're going to have to fix that if you think you can take on a guy like Deontay Wilder. So let's talk about Tyson Fury versus who? Who? Again. This guy, Otto Wallen, Swedish fighter. Who is he? Who knows? Undefeated fighter. This is the oldest trick in the book. Don't have the experience to beat a Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. He's been shown to do this before. Most recently against Tom. May the Schwartz be with you. Marketing employee. We do know that casual fans, they don't know these fighters as much. So they look at the record. Say, this guy's undefeated. Must be good. Tyson Fury, he's going to display what he displayed before. And I'm thinking he's going to knock him out. Displaying power. Power, that's usually not really the thing when you think of Tyson Fury. When you think of his skill and technique. But... With introducing Tyson Fury to the States and that Deontay Wilder fight, there's many people that think Tyson Fury won. Then when you follow that up with the likes of Tom, may the Schwartz be with you. And who? Who? Again. Tyson Fury looks like a marketable heavyweight. We do know that he's the lineal champion and he can sail water to, the, to a well. Having extreme amount of charisma. Him already blowing a kiss to Deontay Wilder and Deontay Wilder's response criticizing Tyson Fury for taking on who? Oldest trick in the book. It's a win-win for Tyson Fury because a casual fan, they're thinking of Deontay Wilder. They're going to see Deontay Wilder more than likely knocking out Ortiz. Again, that makes for the second fight just being fantastic. And these guys look like they got bad blood. I thought Tyson Fury was going to take on Big Baby Miller, but it seems to me that Big Baby Miller has been blacklisted. 
So, we got Tyson Fury versus who? A fight I'm not interested in. Show biz the don't, but oldest oh, trick in the book, that's what you do, and it raises his markability here in the States, and it makes for that fight against Deontay Wilder, the second one, an even bigger one. I'm out! Huh! <laughs>